Hello everyone, welcome back to Civil Learning Online YouTube channel and today in this video I am going to discuss about the derivative of trigonometric function as we all know that the derivative of sin x with respect to x is cos x and in this lecture I am going to show you how, how the derivative of sin x becomes cos x so in this video i am going to use the principle of uh, first, uh, first principle of derivative so without any further delay let's get started so we have question number 1 and we are provided as y equals to sin x so we are asked to find the derivative so we will write here solution and uh, as we and uh, as i in the previous video i have mentioned like when we are solving uh, or finding the derivative using the principle of using the first principle of derivative or by definition what we do we take a small increment in x and y so we will do the same thing here so we will assume that let delta x and delta y so finally we will have y plus delta y equals to sine x plus delta x next we will write delta y equals to sine x plus delta x minus y and here you can see we have y is equal to sine x so we can write it as delta y equals to sine x plus delta x minus sine x now guys if you have been following civil learning online youtube channel then you could be form familiar with some formula that is sine a plus sine b I have frequently mentioned this formula these formulas when whenever it was needed while i was solving different topics so what happens like sine a plus sine b formula is 2 sine a plus b by 2 times cos a minus b by 2 similarly sine c minus sine d or sine a minus sine b equals to 2 cos a plus b by 2 times sine a minus b upon 2 so what we will do we will assume that this is a means sine a and minus sine b so we will be using this formula now so we will have here delta y equals to 2 cos in place of a we have x plus delta x in place of b we have x whole divide by 2 times sine x plus delta x minus x by 2 again we have delta y equals to 2 cos 2x plus delta x by 2 times sine delta x by 2 these two x gets cancel out now we will divide on both sides we are dividing on both sides by delta x see here we know that dy upon dx equals to limit delta x tends to 0 delta y upon delta x also limit delta x tends to 0 times sine x by x sine we have we this is the you can consider it as a theorem because this is the part of limit and continuity 
so what we'll have here we are trying to convert this sin x in this form so that we, we we can convert it to one so we are dividing as we are dividing here on both side by delta x so we will have here delta y upon delta delta x equals to cos 2x plus delta x upon 2 times sine delta x by 2 by delta x by 2 how see here what i did here let me use another color see here what i did sine delta x by 2 by delta x by 2 so this is the same delta x which i am dividing uh, if i am clarifying you then how i can show this c this is sine delta x by 2 as it is and we can write 2 upon delta x so this is the same delta x which i am dividing the on this side on the R, uh, rhs side and this 2 is this 2 okay so there is nothing any variations i have not added anything i have simply divided on both side by delta x so next what we will have here is delta y upon delta x equals to cos 2x plus delta x by 2 times sine delta x by delta x by 2 by delta x by 2 this is the same step now we have dy upon dx equals to limit delta x tends to 0 times cos 2x plus delta x by 2 times sine delta x by 2 by delta x by 2 now we will have here dy upon dx equals to this delta x becomes 0 so we have cos x times 2 uh, this becomes 0 and 2 or by 2 gets cancelled so we have cos x here times 1 so we have dy upon dx equals to cos x this is our final answer and this is how we find the derivative of sin x uh, using the principle of derivative and which is which was under the derivative of trigonometric function now we will see one more example by this method so this time i am going to you solve to find the derivative of sec x so the question is find derivative of sec x how we can do this see we have we will assume that y equals to sec x so whenever we are uh, doing solving any derivative and it is not in the form of sin x and cos x then the first thing we have to do is uh, we have to look have a look and see if we are able to transform that uh, trigonometric function into sin or cos not cos or not so here sec we have sec x so we we can convert it into cos x so we have to do that if there were cos x then we have to convert it into sin x so that our uh, solution becomes easier and we can easily solve this is a trick whenever we are solving any trinity function and they are not in the form of sine uh, and cos then we have to first of all we have to try to change them to sine or cos so that is what i have i did here now again the process will be same so write solution here and again write let delta x and delta y be small increments in x and y respectively so if this is the case then what we can do here we can write here as y plus delta y equals to 1 upon cos x plus delta x again again we will have delta y equals to 1 by cos x plus delta x 
minus y so we have y equals to 1 by cos x so we will write here 1 upon cos x plus delta x minus 1 upon cos x now we will take the lcm of both the denominator we will take lcm of these two terms and then we will solve this further so we have delta y and on taking lcm of these two denominators we have here cos x plus delta x times cos x this is our lcm because lcm equals to common factor times rest factors rest common factors so here in these two uh, in these two denominator there was nothing common so this will all uh, simply become multiple so now we will uh, do the factorization here so it, this one this one will get multiplied with cos x so we will have here cos x minus this one will get multiplied with uh, cos x plus delta x cos x plus delta x because uh, what happens this uh, what we are doing is see we are simply dividing this denominator this denominator by first this and secondly this and we are multiplying the numerator with that remaining item see here we have cos x plus delta x times cos x so what we do we divide cos x plus delta x by cos x plus delta x okay so on dividing we have cos x remaining so we multiply this one by cos x so we got it here again what do we do we divide again cos x plus delta cos x plus delta x times cos x by cos x so what we have remaining cos x plus delta x that gets multiplied with this one then we have cos x plus delta x that is how it is done now see what happens we have again formula in the form of cos a plus cos b so cos a plus cos b equals to 2 cos a plus b upon 2 times cos a minus b upon 2 similarly uh, we have again in the form of cos another formula that is cos a minus cos b so cos a minus cos b equals to 2 sin uh, b minus a upon 2 times sin a plus b upon 2 okay so we will use this formula here because we have here cos x minus cos x plus delta x means cos a minus cos b form so we will write it here as delta y equals to 2 sin x plus delta x minus x upon 2 times sin x plus delta x plus x upon 2 by cos x plus delta x times cos x okay so write one more step 2 sine 2x plus delta x upon 2 times sine oh this x x gets cancelled so we have here delta x upon 2 We have here delta x upon 2 sine 2x plus delta x by 2 by cos x plus delta x times cos x now we will divide delta y by delta x on both side why we are dividing so that we can uh, turn this portion to 1 so we have here sine delta x by 2 by delta x by 2 times sine 2x plus delta x by 2 cos x plus delta x times cos x next we know that dy upon dx equals to to limit delta x tends to 0 
delta y upon delta x equals to limit delta x tends to 0 limit delta x tends to 0 sine delta x by 2 by delta x by 2 times sine 2x plus delta x by 2 by cos x plus delta x times cos x so now this portion will become 1 and other delta x will become 0 so we will have here dy upon dx equals to 1 times sin x divided by cos x times cos x so finally we will have tan x times sec x sec x so we know that derivative of sec x with respect to x is sec x times tan x so this is our final answer i hope you enjoyed this lecture and uh, if you want to get more updates related to civil engineering or any uh, thing which are adjacent to civil engineering then you will find the video on this channel so do subscribe the channel and see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself and do not forget to sub subscribe civil learning online youtube channel thank you have a good day